Let's get it. Oh man, welcome to your our first episode of Table of Consequences. Uh, first, we gotta handle business. We gotta, you know, give our shouts out to our sponsors. I, you know, thanks to uh, Flex Fitness for having us. You know, how's the housing the podcast? And a shout out to Yoha Helping Hand, and also uh, a place to thrive, along with uh, Self Preparatory Academy. I'm your host, OG Bus, along with my co-host, Mookman Jenkins, the Beast. You already know. All right, let's get it. Um, I definitely want to um, introduce my sons that's on the back of the mural. Um, you got my son right here. His name is uh, Gerald Stewart. Um, he died at the age of 23 in Philadelphia. He got gunned down. Then you got my uh, my nephew, Omar Vasquez, who um, died in a car accident at the age of 18. And then you got my twin. His name is Mookman as well, Mookman Jenkins. Um, died at the age of 18. Um, he was uh, murdered in Philadelphia. Then you got my other son, Montrell Stewart as well who um, also died um, from violence, and, um, got killed in um, Philadelphia at the age of 26. Mm. Consequences, that's what we talk about. Yeah, consequences. Damn, that, 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 that hit me, you know what I mean? I'm still stuck on that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. You, 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 want, you want to get into that? Yeah, for sure, why not? Um, the yeah. crazy thing about it is when I think about, you know, the way I was raised, uh, coming up, you know, my dad um, was raised um, from my grandfather who uh, had a um, lack of education and um, took to, took a bunch of shortcuts in Philadelphia just trying to make a way, you know, trying mm. to feed his family. Um, back then um, in the early 70s, late 60s, uh, wasn't a b- bunch of opportunities. And I ain't making no excuses for him, but you had to get in where you fit in. And um, what was available for him was, you know, taking shortcuts in the street. And um, that ideology uh, led up to my father growing up um, and one day becoming a celly of my grandfather. They both mm. was locked up um, at Eastern State Penitentiary um, right on um, Fairmont Avenue. Dang. They were cellies yeah. um, for murder. They both had murder cases. Mm. Um, my grandfather, uh, this crazy thing about it is my grandfather wound up coming home from um, doing a murder bid and um, he died about within the first five years. But um, my dad um, also was uh, arrested for murder, um, wound up coming home, and um, d- it just spiraled from there. Um, had me, you know, at the age of 19, um, all he knew was the streets, you know, and um, that philosophy carried on to who I became. And, you know, my pop was my hero. Right. So <laughs> shit, I wanted to be just like my dad, you right. know what I'm saying? So um, I took on, you know, a life of crime not realizing that it was a life of crime, it was just in me from instincts. Um, because, like I said, he 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 taught me with an iron fist. Right. Like my dad ain't played no games, and um, we was taught on defense. That was the thing. Like we was taught on defense. We wasn't taught offense. Right. So we was taught from a a, a point of view of just protecting yourself as soon as you leave the crib. Right. And um, whichever was available and was open for me, make sure you bring that home. You know what I'm saying? And um, I started robbing people early, and when I, like, uh, I'm talking about like 11. Like 11. <laughs> <laughs> I started taking money when I was like 11. Right. And um, it was it was easy, secondhand nature. And um, it's crazy because, you know, a lot of people don't know where our brotherhood stemmed from. Right. And this where piggyback into us talking about us. You know, at, at an early age, you know, going through the juvenile facilities, you know, and all the, placements and all the things that they got to offer in in regards to rehabilitation for juveniles is what me and you meet. Right. And we form a brotherhood that's been ongoing since. Like 14. Yeah, kids. (laughs) You're right. (laughs) And uh, immediately we hit it off and we was just, we've been brothers since. Right, right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Mom's going to court dates. Right, right, right. Um, You want to talk a little bit about it? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy because I remember, um, before we actually uh, connected, I remember seeing you, and I'm like, damn, that's that. B-. We was up, I was up King, cutting school and shit, and then um, I'm like, damn, that's that's boy from down Nice Town, and then sure enough, months later, we ended up in De La Salle, mm-hmm. and then when we went, we got to De La Salle, we was like freaking frack from yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was a match made in heaven. Um, we had a lot of the similarities, right? Um, pretty much just alike for real, for real. Um, 
you know, I was, it was just like the perfect relationship. Why did I say that is because back then I was super loud with everything. Right. Like I was the guy who, who would walk in the classroom and if you ain't noticed me, you would and right, within right. a matter no, of you was seconds. <laughs> you was funny. I was, I was, I was rambunctious. <laughs> right. And um, one of the approaches that I knew that you took was the laid back approach. Right. But you was just like me though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was crazy. And um, it, it, it just, you know, kept kept us few, you know what I'm saying, and, and just sticking together. Right. And one of right. the things we realized was um, just to stick, you know, stick together, we had the, the perfect code. Right. You know what I mean? Never to pre- betray each other. And um, shit, we sit here today at, 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 talking about the consequences from that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And, um, For sure. Then I remember, I remember um, I was on, me and you, we was, we was running, this was like 92, 93. We used to get together every day, every day, and just you know what I mean, and just and just hit the street. Mm-hmm. Then I was I was like, damn man, I was like, damn, I gotta go to court. And he was like, what you gonna do? I was like, I'm out. I ain't going to court. They gonna keep me because I don't go to school. You know what I'm saying? You know, back then, if mm-hmm. you ain't go to school, you was you was you was definitely going to jail. They was gonna convict you. That's a you fact. Know what I mean, that and that, that that's kind of like that's kind of like um. That's kind of like a bias because they'll can find you guilty of the case because you ain't go to school, not knowing that you really might have didn't commit commit the crime. You know what I'm saying? So back then, I, I was like, damn, I ain't going to I ain't going to court because I don't go to school. So I know they gonna bang me. You was like, you can come stay at my house. <laughs> That's a I, I'll never forget that. So I'm sleeping on. I come to the crib. I had to. I'm, I'm already living up the boulevard. I, I move all my stuff. Boom. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna come down the crib. I'm sleeping on the couch. Mom came downstairs. Man, get off my couch. Y'all better go clean that basement up and go down there. That's a fact. <laughs> and, and, and ever since then, it was like, man, that that wasn't no my, turning it back. wasn't no turning back. My, you know what I mean? Her crib was my crib. You know what I'm saying? Mm. She ain't, she ain't, she ain't show me no different love, man. Yeah, you know what I'm dope. saying? And that, and that was that was all like till this day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you know that's that's and then people be like, damn, well, I, I've been knowing how this man. We've been locked in ever since. We've been you know super what I'm locked in. Um, super locked in. You know that's dope because a lot of people are not friends with their childhood friends. I mean, like childhood day one friends. Right. We talking about 14, and the crazy thing about it is. For us, no matter how it went, we stuck together. Right. Like, we ain't let money get involved. Never. We ain't let females get involved. You know what I'm saying? We ain't let the street, you know, the gossip in the streets get involved. And um, the crazy thing about it is we was building our image as, right. we, as we moved. And we was moving really on a, on a, on a accordance of what we was taught. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I come to think about it is my dad and... Your, your, your My, dad, yep. was, they was <laughs> the same they person. Was the same I'm like, <laughs> right. yeah, they just alike. When I got to meet your pop, I'm like, right. this nigga remind me of my dad. Right, right, he right. bananas. Right, right. And it was only right that it, it was just like, okay, now this all making sense. Right. And we still ain't really paying no mind. You know what I mean? We just was all in. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's crazy. Your dad calling me son. My dad, dad calling you son. son. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know that's a saying? fact. That was it. Was like, it was all that. Um, and that philosophy. Um, that we was taught, and it's crazy that um, for me, you know, I started having kids at an early age, you know what I'm saying? And um, it trickled down to my sons, right. for real, for real. And the same thing I was taught, I taught them. Like, right. You know what I mean? And not really even realizing it, you know what I mean? I taught my sons defense. Right. It, it, not offense, all defense. Right. So, you know, um, they wasn't, you know, the uh, the baddest kids. Right. But they wasn't the goodest kids neither. Right. So like, it took me a little a minute to realize, you know, and um, reflect on, you know, each 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 of, each of their deaths and the reason why it came. You right. know what I'm saying? And um, doing my research, finding out what they had going on in the streets, and it was similar to exactly who I was at their ages. And I'm just grateful to be here today. Right. I mean, we I'm blessed. You know what I'm right. saying? Um, I could have been got put down. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, I I ain't really even care. Right. I, back when I was doing my thing, I ain't care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and, I'm quite and, sure you could relate and, to that. And, 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 I mean, none of us really care. Yeah. <laughs> because we, we we felt like we was we was pushing too. You know what I'm saying? So we felt like that we probably would. 
had a jump before somebody. We, you know what I'm saying? Like the way we was talking, the way we was moving, we was moving, like you said, defense. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we felt like that we was going to push before we get pushed. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but now we see, you know what I mean? It could pretty much go, you know, either either way. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of, but I'm going to tell you, a lot of our, our consequence in life is really what brought us here today. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really what got us to this point. You know what I'm saying? And it came with, it's really how we grew. You know what I'm saying? I was just telling somebody earlier that I, we are the type of people that really, our face got to really be put in this shit. Fact. To really be like, you know what? That ain't right. You right. know what I'm saying? That ain't cool to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's a shame that we have to learn that way. But that's just the nature of how we was raised and our culture that we come from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got to bump our head a couple of times to really get the understanding, of, you know, to get the wisdom out of a, of a matter. You know what I'm saying? But when, when you talk about losing three sons, it's like I can't even I, – you, I just – I get quiet because I can't even fathom that. You right. know what I'm saying? I can't, right. I can't even process that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was it was something you said when I when I talked to you, and I still be like that shit still be like bothering me. And you and you had said um when we was talking about Mookman and you my nephew and you were saying um you had said, bro my son was dead already, bro, but I had to act like he was alive to keep the women and and and, and for them from them to getting su super excited. Mm -hmm. And that, that shit, like, kind of, that shit, like, floored me, you know what I'm saying? To really, like, like really process that, like, my son gone. But I got to still act like he, it's, it's hope just to keep the women from going crazy and spazzing out out there. And that shit, that shit really, uh, till this day, is still, um, you know what I mean? I'm still reflecting. Because you're not the only, you know what I mean, brother that lost a son. We got another friend that lost a son. And, uh. All, all from consequences, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's deep because no matter what we try to tell the youngsters, they always turn back and be like, man, fuck out of here, you, you know. Yeah, ain't no I'm doubt. just like you. Ain't no doubt. You know what I'm saying? No and it be, it's like a hard ask when they watching our moves and they, they learning ain't pretty no much doubt. from us. Ain't and they no getting doubt. the history of us from old heads and stuff like, yeah, you, you, yeah, your pop was this, your pop. Cause I went through that my whole life, you know what I mean. I went through a little identity crisis, where my pop was a knockout artist. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I felt like, especially in jail, he was a knockout artist. So when I went through the jails, I felt like um, I had to be that way, like cause I I had an image to uphold. Yeah. Because you know, my pop, my mm -hmm. neighborhood, you know what I'm saying. I had to stand on all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And when we talk about uh, uh pop and his pop being in Sally's, me and my pop was in jail together. Yeah. And, you know, that trauma, like for me right now, having kids, that fucked me up. Because when I was in jail with my pop, that shit was like normal to me, dog. Mm -hmm. That shit was normal. Like, that's just how we was raised. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, it wasn't Name like, no <laughs> but now that I got a 15 year old, a 10 year old and a nine year old, I'm like, oh, to be in jail with my kids, that shit would be, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, crazy. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for that's sure. a whole nother feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, it's, it's like that, that table of consequence, man. You know what I mean? So much that you, so much wisdom there, man. You know what I'm saying? And I try to tell my son all the time, I tell him this, use me as a cheat sheet. Use you, me you, as a cheat use sheet. Use me like as that. a cheat sheet, dog. I like that. Because you got it. You got it. You got me. You got uncles. You got, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing, it's nothing that we haven't done or it's nothing that we don't know of somebody that has been involved in something that if you want to know something, you got, you, it. you got it right at your disposal. Right. right at your disposal. You know what I'm saying? We have so many resources. Right. So I try to tell, I tell my son that and I tell the youngsters that. Use us as a cheat sheet. Yeah. You ain't got to go fall in that same, you know what I'm saying, go down that same path. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, but sometimes it's like the fun is in cutting the corners. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We done cut so many corners. That's where the fun at. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. you know, you're doing it the you so the quote unquote what they say the right way, you're doing it that way, and it's like, eh, ain't no fun in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and cut mm-hmm. this corner, get there a little faster, mm-hmm. you know, floss a little bit. But it come with so much um larceny, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because, you know, we cutting so many corners, we not knowing, we not realizing that a lot of our weak friends, they build larceny in their heart because we successful at what we doing, but they hating us for taking those shortcuts. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? They hating us because we at successful at taking shortcuts. shortcuts. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? Not knowing that we really burying ourselves. Tough. All day long. All day long. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Not knowing. Mm-hmm. Because I be thinking, like like for me, I got a nine to five right now. That's some shit I'm supposed to do at 18. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm grateful. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I'm an entrepreneur at heart. So at the end of the day, it's like, damn, I'm 46. I, I At 45, I went and got a nine to five. I was like, that's some shit I really should have did way back when. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I was so locked in. Uh, taking the shortcuts, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because the instant gratification that was connected to, it. man, you know talk what I'm about it, man. Talk so about it's, it. it's 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 talk it's, about it. We get we get we get that that table of consequence, man. It's that heavy. thing, that thing. Is you know heavy. what's so crazy, man? Um, and what I reflect on is me. Right. So like, you know, we're taught to believe in ourselves, and for me, when I look at my sons, I know they they love everything about me. And, you know, even when I still see my dad, you know, being as though I got a different uh, vision for my life now, you know, I can see the, the, you know, the disconnect for me and him now versus when I didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? And it's him, he still got the same philosophy. You know what I mean? When I drive him around the city and all that, he's still, like, locked into who he was back when he could move around and do the things he used to do. And that's okay, you know what I'm saying, um, for him. You know right. what I mean, Ben? Though I know he's out of harm's way. Right. But for me, I had to change everything about me. Why? Because I still got eight more sons, bro. Right. And let me ask you this: with with you changing your philosophy, do people think you fronting now? You know what's so crazy? When I once I did that. The people that I thought mattered to me the most, right. they ain't even around. Right. So I don't even know how they feel. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> they got the fuck away from me. Right, 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 right. Because I wasn't the, and, and don't get me wrong, I thought I was the shit in the streets. Right. You know, and um, I touched a little bit of money, and the people that I felt like at that time I really cared about, I mean, I would have died for. Right. I was looking out for them the best way I knew how, right. you know what I'm saying? And they was all right, because they was under my umbrella. And the minute I flipped the philosophy onto doing some positive things, they was gone. Right. So how did we feel? I don't even know. I couldn't even have a conversation with them. Why? Right. Because they don't meet me where I'm at. Right. At the end of the day, I never met them where they was at. Right. You get it? So when I was doing my thing, they was up under me. You know what I'm saying? When I flipped the philosophy, they didn't meet, meet you know what I mean, their understanding, they got ghosts, yeah, and they had to ghosts. figure it out on their own. Right. And um, it was it was more so understanding the death of the East Three, understanding where my life was headed, and I just wanted different right. because I knew I had other sons that I had to worry about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because what they don't know is it, what they know is what I what I what I show them. Right. Not what I'm talking to them about because I talk to them to the I mean all the way to their death. What not to do? How to watch it? Yo, watch what you're doing. You you know you're doing nut shit. Woo, and it wasn't never enough. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know who I am today. When my younger sons get to see, yeah, you know I mean, as a as a as a whole better version. Right. And I'm proud to say that. You right. Know what I'm saying? It, I, I was just vibing off the fact that, you know, what I mean, my kids ain't never. They don't know the prison side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like, that's it's like if, I, if I ever mention that, they'd be like, huh, what? You, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely grateful for that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm definitely grateful for that. They don't know that side. And um, the, 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 the things I push in the crib and the, and the, the mindset, the way I, you know what I mean, I raise them, it's like, it's like totally different than how I came up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not so much in the crib, 
because, you know, my mom always taught me right from wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the influence that the streets had for me because I was looking for a father, bro. I knew my Crazy. dad, but he was like my old head. He really Crazy. wasn't my father, you Crazy. know what I'm saying? And uh, that's why I took to a lot of old heads the way I took to them because I was really looking for a dad. And I ain't realized that until I got older mm -hmm. and I started peeping, you know what I mean? I started being, you know, I started understanding my behaviors and and I start understanding um what I was lacking mm -hmm. growing up, you know what I'm saying? And uh that that not having that not having that father figure, not having that person that like a smack you in the head and be like, yo, you tripping. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that shit really matters. Right. You know, it is a is it's really for us the way we raise, that's a difference between life and death. You know what I'm saying? Not having a father. I always tell my son you really don't understand that. You got one foot in, one foot out. Mm -hmm. It's in your blood. Mm -hmm. It's in your blood to be that way. Mm -hmm. Now, it's just, it's my job to show you how to channel that mm -hmm. shit. You know what Channeling I'm saying? Channeling that energy, right. It's my job to show you how to channel it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not to cut you off, though, but for our people that's probably watching, um, so like my dad, he active. He is, he's still alive. He's still around. Um, is there anything that you want to tell the viewers in regards to your, you know, relationship with your dad now, or what's current about your father, what, so on and so forth? My dad was more like a, a um, like my, like an old head around the way, like that's old head such and such, but he just so happened to be my pop. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could never call him by his um, I could never call him by his nickname, which was Moto. I can never call him Moto, like, yo, Moto. One time I tried that, he pulled a butcher knife out on me. Dang. I'm talking about like one of them big long Jones and chased me down. You think he was serious? I, I, yeah, he was serious. Yeah, he was serious. You ran? Yeah, like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I read, I read like a mother. I read like a mother. I got out of there. You hear me? You, you know did you know saying? me then? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah call yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I ain't want to do it to him like that. <laughs> I ain't want to set him up like that. It's one time I was going to set him up though, cause um, he gonna hit me with the jaw. He was going. He was like, I did. I said some out of pocket shit to him, and it was, I was like, um, he had said something to me, and I was like, I said some shit that you know us. As men, we was taught not to say, you know what I mean, and oh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Sure. I said I some, know. yeah, I told him I to suck know. my no, dick. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I mean, ooh, yeah, 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 that was a no, that, that, yeah, that was out of pocket, right? And you know what he said to me? Like your mother used but, to suck my. <laughs> oh, he was a, yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, he was real witty yeah, with yeah, it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah, that, yeah. that floored me when he said that. <laughs> no, it floored me. That's what I said. He said like your mother used to suck mine, bro. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, lie, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, I was offended. No, you was in your feelings. Yeah, I was in my feelings. Yeah, you know I mean, I shouldn't That's have said that to him. Do. But I shouldn't have said that to there him. There you go. That taught me. That was a lesson of mine. Secret. I shouldn't have mm -hmm. said that to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, um, back in uh 2013, my father got killed, and um, mm. he got killed in 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 the, the same place. You know, you could find him like right there on the corner. He loved that corner, and that, and that, and that's where he got killed. That man, you know, somebody you know snuck up behind him, shot him in the head, and uh, um, you know, that 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 was that was a rough pill to swallow. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because at the time, me and my father wasn't speaking. You know what I'm saying? And um, Damn. it's 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 uh, yeah, that was a rough pill to swallow, bro. You know what I mean? I made a con me and my you know, I made a conscious decision not to um not to fuck with my pop because he had did some things that I totally didn't believe in. Um but I never really uh I never really uh well make a long story short, I had a conversation with him. It was like a Dare John conversation. It was like like yo, like you need to mind your business. You don't need to move like this. You don't need to move like that. You need to focus on your grandkids. I was like the dad, and I and I'm not thinking like, damn, I'm offending him by talking to him like that. You know what I mean? He a grown man. You know what I'm saying? But I, the things I was saying, I was saying respectful 
I wasn't saying that like in a disrespectful space because, you know, we'd have been rumbling. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, he ain't got no problem with rumbling. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying it in a respectful no space to him, though. I'm, you know, and he was like, you know what, son? All right, cool, whatever. I was like, yeah, if you take this approach, I ain't, I ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? And he took that approach. So, you know, man, you know, uh, you know, I stopped fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? And um, what wound up happening was, in the midst of us not talking, you know, uh, he got killed. And, uh, yeah, that kind of floored me, right? But I got a brother from my father. I have a brother. And um, my older brother, me and him stopped talking. You know, him and my dad, my brother hated my dad so much that he acted just like my father, bro. He was my father's, like, spitting image and personality, bro. Mm. They acted just alike, but they hated, like, he hated him. And um, I just gave my brother some space because, you know, he was going without, through whatever he was going through. So I used to get, I gave him space, and uh, we ain't spoken for, like, five years. And um, about three months ago, he got killed. You know what I'm saying? Dang. So I uh I lost my father mm. and I lost my brother and I didn't know like shit still got me fucked up. Because I didn't know that losing my brother was gonna affect me like it did. Yeah. That's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm normally the one that hold it together. Yeah, as well. But that shit fucked me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Um, it's only real as it will, as it will as it gets, when the consequences at home are a little different. And um, that's the whole point. Like what we getting this all out for, is for the people to understand that it's consequences behind everything that we do. And subconsciously, we be living life as if as if we got it all figured out, and we don't. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of us just winging it. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> sometimes we make moves and we don't realize if it goes sour, who is going to affect? You know what right. I'm saying? I'm quite sure outside of you, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he got daughters, you know what I'm saying, your brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? He had a family, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of people's sons. He got a lot of people that loved him. And I was thinking the same thing about my sons, you know what I'm saying? Like, they not they was moving super reckless for real and not realizing that if it goes sour, you know what I mean, who 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 lives is going to affect, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, it's bigger than and, and and I matter. You matter. Right. But it's bigger than both of us, bro. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than yeah. both of us. And it's only right that we uphold the legacy and the names and keeping the lights. Why? Because they matter, man. You know what I'm saying? They matter. There's a lot going to come from these, you know, tragic deaths. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to build off of that. And, and we're going to keep their names in, 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 in good, you know, in good conversations. Why? Because we care. And we ain't gonna let nobody throw mud on them because that's what the people here, our people, to be they throw mud on each other like it ain't, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Like it ain't nothing. Then especially if the ticket clean, if yeah. you got a clean name, you know what I'm saying? They like, trying to find something. They trying to find something. They scrape yeah, up they and trying say to find something you wasn't who they you. say you was, right. but if you was who you said you was, then that's just what it is. Yeah. Now if you something different, then you just, you know what I mean? If you just you know, like a, a, a backstabber, a robber, you know, a thief or a rat, then you just that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we don't got those problems on our family, so I'm grateful for that, you know what I'm saying? All right. So you know what's, you know what's so crazy, man? And, and I was thinking about, you know what I mean, like when you was talking about your dad and, you know, the reason why I think, and you, you know the only reason, is because we super judgmental and we want our people to be the way we want them to be. For sure. And <clears throat> the reason why my dad and our relationship, I think, always been super solid is because what he did, you know, after dark, I didn't see. You know, one time I saw my dad in a different light and I ain't like it. And I cry like a baby about it, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like my dad used to run a bar on 20th and Fairmont with an iron fist. 
And um, I used to always sneak up on him to get money from him and all that. This is what I'm talking about. I'm like 10, 9, 10 years old. And um, one day I go down, my dad different. Right. Um, and I'm like, damn, what's the consequences from this? Not knowing that it was. And um, I just set up under him for a minute. And I'm like, damn, why my pop acting different today? He ain't sharp and crispy as he normally be. And um, he was so far in his addiction that he ain't even care that I was sitting there, bro. Right. That nigga started snoring coke right in front of me, man. Dang. I was fucked up, man. Like, mind Dang. you, at that age, I was on my way to selling coke, bro. Right. <laughs> Dang. So I looked at junkies in the neighborhood as junkies, smokers, crackheads, and come to find out my pop man, ain't nothing different than these people, bro. Right. You know Dang. what I mean? So, you know. So how 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 did you deal with that in that moment? I I, I got up and walked. I walked down. I walked down Fairmont from 20th Street to Broad Street, and came back up Spring Garden and walked back around. And um, I came back in the bar. I remember, um, I seen my dad. I said I'm out. Right. And um, I walked to the uh, 17th Street and jumped on the two. Right. But I cried the whole route. Right. And my dad I already knew he was gonna be him bro, from right. that point on. But our relationship, it changed. He didn't know that, right. you know what I'm saying? I still let him be my dad, but I ain't, he ain't see me as much. Right. Cause I ain't wanna be around the behavior. Right. You know, I ain't wanna see a weaker, you know what I mean, Jinx. You know, that's what they used to call my dad's nickname right. was Jinx. I ain't wanna see a weaker Jinx. Like I always seen him as like, you know what I mean? He, yeah, he was him, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, like you said, your pop was knockout artist and all that. Yeah, my pop was him in my eyes or what I was taught. Right, like he ain't take he ain't, he ain't had no tolerance. Right, and he dealt exactly. with it fast. Exactly, he dealt with it fast, and um, that's how I was taught. You like, talking about was he? You think he was gonna stab you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to prove oh, a pop, point. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because he knew I wasn't gonna tell yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. Just to prove a point. <laughs> yeah, and he probably wasn't even thinking that. Far. Right, he probably wasn't he thinking that far. Yeah, he was in his bag though. Yeah, he was in his. He was for sure. He was in his bag, man. And uh, you know, losing my pop, that that it was like. As get when I got older, like now, I feel like I lost out on so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like I shouldn't have um shut that 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 door of communication with him. I should have yeah. left that door open. But that was me being in my stubbornness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just being stubborn. Yeah. Same with my brother, just being stubborn. Because I, I my brother tried to uh reach out to me several times, not like direct. But in his own little way, he wanted to, he wanted my attention. You know what I'm saying? So he used to do little stuff to get mm -hmm. my attention. You know what I'm saying? But we were both, like, we both were stubborn. Mm -hmm. So my joint, like, man, I ain't tolerating that. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. But uh, it's crazy, man, how, you know, you never know who, you never know the impact people going to have on your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, that's why I accept my people now, right, wrong, or indifferent. And I say the judgments for some other, you know what I mean, for another time, because people dealing with so much trauma and they dealing with it in their own, and everybody dealing with it in their different ways. That's a fact. And we don't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of times that be trauma that people be dealing with. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when you be like, damn, why are you doing that? Yeah. That's the only way I know how to deal with it. Yeah. I'm super numb. Yeah. Like, right now, how I feel about, like, you know, and, you know, I, 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 I um, you know, I, I have a sense of passion for people who lose their children. Right. But, like, I hear it, and I ain't affected by it. Like, you know, what I went through with those three, Undescribable, yeah. bro. Yeah. And it's bigger than just me. Like we talking about the the mother, right? You know what I mean? Like, her abdor abdoring that pain from losing three sons, right? You know what I mean? Two years apart each time is like it's undescribable. So like when I be hearing about other people, who like you know, and shout out to Gilly and Wallow. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They doing yeah, their thing. Yeah, I, they doing I seen. Their thing. I, you know, I actually we actually grew up with them. Right. Um, when Gil lost his son, I was like, damn. Right. 
Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, you know, and rest in peace to cheese, but I was just like, damn. Right. Like, and, and it's not like I don't care about Gil or who was son or nothing like that, but it's just numb to it. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, because of where we at, where we like, at the, with it, like we we've been we subjected to it every day, day all day. Every day, is you like, know what I'm saying? It's it's just a bad you know. situation. And the consequences out there, and the, and that's the beauty of this podcast is because hopefully we could touch maybe some younger middle class and older folks, right? Who still you know moving, you know, with that edge of naiveness, right? Not realizing that it's bigger than your your thought pattern. Right. You know, because subjectively we be we be selfish, right? For sure, and we be a, a we be a bunch of know it alls, right? And not knowing that we don't know nothing at all, you know what I mean? And we be going out there moving reckless, not realizing who lives is going to affect if we don't make it home. For sure, That's you know heavy. what I'm saying? You gotta make it who, home. Who lives are you going? Who lives are <laughs> going to be affected by you not making it home? <laughs> That's just something to think about. That's something to end it on. You know what I mean? Who lives is going to be affected if you don't make it home? Mm. If you don't change your mindset, if you don't get the wisdom out of some of your past behaviors, Mm -hmm. who is going to be affected by you not walking through that door? Mm -hmm. Shout out to uh, Chemo. Mm -hmm. You know, we talking about uh, signature. Let me make sure I get this right. That's my guy. For sure. Signature, signature film, film works. Film works yes. You know what I mean? Brother yeah, he, Chemo. He, you know what I mean? Yeah. On the productions. Super productive. Definitely appreciate him. He came mm-hmm. right through. Called Crispy him microphones. You know what I mean? Look like he spun. He might have spun a couple too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He tight. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I'll, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he tight. But, but yeah, shout out to uh, Sign- Signature Film Works, man. Mm. And uh, shit, shout out to all our sponsors, yeah, bro. For sure, shout you know out man? to we all super our grateful, sponsors. Super grateful, super grateful. Believing in us, getting the word you know to the I people, mean? for sure. And uh, like I just said in closing, who you got to think about? Who's going to be affected by you not making it? Who lives? The children, the wives, the aunts, neighbors. Um, yeah, the na- everybody, man. For sure. You know, you got to take that into consideration. For you go out there moving reckless. And you don't make it back to your threshold. A lot of consequences on them tables. That's a fact. Holla. Let's get it.